Hello everyone, this is Khalir. Hi, this is Jen's Kitchen. Yep, and today I'm going to have her along with me as we do a Let's Play of Cave Story. The story, okay, I yeah. guess. Uh. Yeah, she's not seen this game before, although we did some test recordings, but don't worry about that. And I figured the best way to showcase this game to someone is to do it as blind as you can get. So, here we go. Okay. I'm sure a lot of people who have played this before have been... Like, you all know this game. This is a big, important indie game as far as I go, but... When you first played it, you had no idea. Just there are little pixely people, and you explore a cave, which has a story to it, you know? I need to find all the people. Alright. This us. Save game. Refill health. Bonk our head. This is a little stars when you do it. Pretty silly. And here's the first cave. We must go left. On the left. It is the tradition of every Metroid game to go left very briefly at the start and then go right to actually play the game. Really? I mean, that's how it was in the NES Metroid. You had the uh, morph ball okay. off to the left of where you started, and if you went to the right, you couldn't progress until you got the morph ball. Hmm. Or the Maru Mari, as it was sometimes called. But, you know, we're not gonna get a morph ball. This isn't that kind of game. It was a different game. It's a game with a hermit gunsmith living in a giant stone pack for him. He is asleep. A perfect cry. What's in that box? Box has Polar Star. Polar Star is a gun. But where's the people? Sue, answer your Discord messages already. This is IRC. I don't know what messaging service he's using, but Kazuma is apparently Sue's brother. Anyway, we have a gun now. He does not have a gun because we stole it. Stole the Smith's gun. It's very tiny. It is a very tiny gun. Yeah, these little orange triangles, for those of you who haven't played the game, that's weapon energy. Get that, you make your gun cooler. Well, he's being nicer to us than we just. It is, because it used to be like the four first enemies we shot and we got hearts. We didn't need hearts, because I'm not going to get hit in this game. I mean, probably? I'm not going to get hit in the first cave in this game. Yeah. Although, yeah, cute little pigs. This is the only door in the game that's like trapped like that. Oh yeah, your weapon levels up when you get the weapon energy. It levels up from one to two to three. Answer that message. Pick up the phone. No one answers the phone ever. It's gonna eat cockroaches, maybe. <laughs> just kidding. I'm less. Also, here's a Mimigo village. They're little bunnies. Yep, they're bunny peoples. Bunnies peoples are so good. Along with regular bunnies. Toroko knows. Snitches get stitches. She's not gonna rat Sue out. Hello! Oh no! Run away! You ever just have... Someone in a cap with a revolver fall into the middle of you two having a conversation about ratting out your friend. You good? I am not an enemy. I don't think I'm an enemy. We don't have to be enemies. Alright, so King here is the boss of the village. That's cool. Anyway, welcome to the Mimigo village. Where do you want to go first? Uh, let's go to the reservoir first. Okay. Mind the water, it kills the hell out of your floaty jumps. Yeah, like normally look at this, we'll do like whoosh, jump. big floaty jump. Now we're in the water. <laughs> Even jumping out of the water is hard. Even if like your feet are touching it. Just... Hey bud. 
Alright, so Sue is staying at Arthur's house, so we probably have to go find her there. She's found in the reservoir. And she is a Mimiga. Okay. Can I have a shiny thing? What's shiny? Uh, the silver locket is shiny. Okay. It's silver. And a locket. Treasured for years. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna leave this fish be. It's not doing anything. Hi! Bye! Oh no! Come back! We just wanna talk. Give me the key! <laughs> you better watch out, Toriko's got a mean tackle, buddy. Apparently. Alright, uh, we're gonna leave her be for a minute and go explore the rest of the town for just a bit. Hey, this buddy, what you doing, buddy? Jumping. Eating the snacks. Looking for a sky dragon. The dragons. The dragons in the skies. There's platforms over there, but I want to approach from above instead of trying to make a jump to that little moon space, because, again, jump physics in this game are unique. I'm not going to say they're bad, because they're not. They're actually pretty fun, but they're unique. It's on this box. The map system! We can now map the system. Also, here's an inspirational message engraved on the back. Thanks for believing in us, map. So here's the Mimiga village. It's a very small map, but it's a very small area. Alright, uh, Arthur's house is over here, but it is it's locked. locked. Toriko has the key, of course. Let's go talk to other people in the town real quick. See if we can't find Toriko at some point, but... Yeah. Assembly Hall. Is there a Toriko in here? There's a fire. There's something in there. Can't get it though. We don't have... We're not fireproof. Do you ever get to be fireproof in this game? I mean, there's gotta be some way to get the item in there, otherwise why would they hide it in the fireplace? I guess that's true. Hi Jack. Ooh, Shanka. Mimica Graveyard, where the hero Arthur lies, we're learning. There's a fungal infestation there. Do cool spins when you do the jump. Spin jumps! And here is Yamashita Farm. Hello! Only flowers on the farm. I mean, it sounds like Mimikas eat flowers, so... But uh, don't eat the red ones. Red ones are made of heart attack. Okay. Yeah, they got, you know, all the other colors of white, blue, yellow, life capsule. They don't eat those though, so we'll take it. We have more helps now. Yep, not that we've been getting hit, but hey. A little extra never hurts. Alright, let's go down to that shack that's below uh, the graveyard. Nice, you know, safety shack. Oh no! They were hiding and we found them. You, you okay? Hey! I had to get her to stop trying to cave our head in with a pipe eventually. Ugh, I guess. I am not with the doctor, I just have a gun. I don't know who that is. Uh, he is a jerk. He abducts and kills Mimigas, including Toroko's brother, whoever that is. We got a pendant! You want it? We found it in a river. There's a reservoir in a river. So, are all rivers not reservoirs, but all reservoirs are rivers? I never said that. I know. Knock knock. It's this guy! 
Hello. How are you doing, buddy? They're the people in the little intro animation. Alright, I guess the short one is Misery. They're the doctor's minions, oh no! Uh, she's not Sue. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh no! And the other tall guy's Balrog. Alright. They got bubbles. Actually, they got bubbles. Yeah, we're, we're still here. Yeah, it's rough. We're gonna fight this guy or not? Nah? I don't know. Eh, nah. Okay. Later. You can fight him and he'll give some weapon energy, but... Eh. I don't see what it would accomplish at this point. Alright. Jump in, jump in. Oh yeah, let's also go in the save room. You should probably save. Beep. Bye. Hello. Go tell King right away. Abandon your post so the mushrooms can consume the village. Oh yeah, the hang on a second. Just for the sake of pretending to do things in order here. Okay. Okay, so Toriko and Arthur are siblings. Arthur got killed by someone who worked for the doctor. We get to the Mimiga graveyard, we can get Arthur's house key, because they buried him with his house key, as is Mimiga tradition. It's a little silly, but okay. Very intimidating mushrooms. If you have only the level 1 gun, they will do the poop squeak noises when you shoot them. Also, that guy, the knife murderer, is just here. Uh, he blocks shots from the front, so. You know, you're gonna have to jump over him or shoot him when he is holding his knife, but use the knife to block. Uh, how could you use the knife to block a laser? He's got technique. Okay. Here sleeps the noble Arthur, true hero to the Mimigoons. And here sleeps his key. <laughs> it's our key now. Now we can go inside the house. Yep. Alright, and here we are in Arthur's house. Let's go check out the place. We got a save point, very state-of-the-art stuff. We got a computer. Sue, check your IMs already! Yeah, we can enable teleport permissions to the egg corridor, whatever that means. What does that mean? Uh, it means, I don't know, there's red flowers down here though. Don't eat the heart attack flowers. Egg corridor! Let's go! Guess! I mean, what else is there to do?